Okay. All right. So this is Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. It is Sunday, August the 22nd. And the topic of my next video is, I'm trying to be conservative today because I'm going through mourning. My uncle just passed. Um, uh, it's 723 here on, in, in Boston, Massachusetts. And the topic of my video today is people dropping dead. Okay, so it's, it's a very simple, simple so topic to me. Okay, I'm going through a lot of other issues that I'm dealing with in my life. And so far, I'm going through, I've lost my mother. My mother was murdered in Los Angeles, California. Someone beat her, beat her to death. And they found her on the street in Los Angeles, California about when I was going through finals in Chicago in, in school. I had another uncle in um, Dallas who um, was found lying dead in my father's, my father's home. Um, um, home. Uh, family home in Dallas, Texas, and also I had a close, close friend, a uh, teacher, who also passed away of cancer, a long struggle with cancer. She was really young, about 38, 39 years old, Andrea Perry or Danza, she passed away of cancer. So I've had a couple people in my life that have also passed away, it's very, very emotional to me. So right now, I've dealt with about three or four deaths in my life over the past five years. It has been really, I mean, I don't know if that's a normal thing, but I know a lot of other people are also going through the same thing, the same same issue. Black Lives Matter has to deal with a lot with police brutality, having to face the issue where I've just lost my son, I've just lost my daughter, they've been shot by the police. What do I do? My son is dead, my daughter is dead, my fuck my husband is dead by the police or there have been issues where even in 2021 where people are still being hanged by hate groups not necessarily kkk but people are still being hanged by hate groups okay in this new millennial 2020 era i saw a video i think it was in the state of georgia or the state of louisiana or north carolina where a group of about three or four white people were trying to hang a 200, a 300 pound black man on a, uh, on a tree, on a small, it was like a twig, but on a tree. And he first, he thought that they were joking, but in reality, they were serious about what they were doing. They were laughing about it, but they were serious, okay? So it is, it is a, it's a huge, huge issue when you are dealing with people that you used to know as well as people in general all over society that are dying all around you as well as, okay, the COVID-19 pandemic. America has lost over seven to 800,000 Americans from the COVID-19 pandemic. We have lost, I have some, I have astigmatism in this right eye. We have lost over 700,000 Americans from the COVID-19 pandemic. And you figure out why somebody like Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York would not address the issue of people in her nursing homes dying from this illness. That could be a hundreds to thousands of people in nursing homes that have not been reported to the press and the public. So you have a unreported number of thousands of people, of hundreds of people unreported, dying from the COVID-19 dead that have not been reported to the media as well as maybe even more have not been reported to the Department of Public Health. Which is another reason which led to the criminal charges being pressed against Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York. And also his COVID-19 task force team. Which is another issue also that Dr. Tony Fauci, okay, 
as well as Dr. Rochelle Walensky of the CDC is also dealing with unreported numbers of people dropping dead from this COVID pandemic. And right now there are celebrities that are losing their lives to the COVID pandemic. Celebrities, musicians, doctors who thought that COVID-19 was, was a religious issue or that it was fake. But in reality, it is a real, real viral issue. Then the, they're very, the day you see them, they're healthy. The very next day, you hear that they have passed. So it's a very pressing issue. What do you do when you see people all around you that are dropping, literally dropping dead in numbers? Like, is it is is the generation changing? Is time changing? Is this a culture issue? Is this a culture? Is this a purge? Is this a purge? What's going on? Is God purging society from the bad, from the good, from the evil, from the wrong, from the right? What is it? Is this a purge? Not necessarily. It doesn't necessarily have to be a purge. It just may be a change in society telling us that we need to pay attention to our health as well as pay attention to our loved ones who are also may not be aware of what is going on around the world. And sometimes the lack of knowledge, fear is a lack of knowledge. And what you don't know can also cause you to be afraid. And in, in your personal life, in your in your cultural life, and with your friends, as well as in your health. Okay, so you know I feel good. You know I have a little soda, which is great. I had some coffee today, which is good. Okay, I have to read more. I have to do some. St- I have, to, I have to do some studying. I really have to do some studying, seriously. But that is a big issue. It's about seven seven minutes into this video. Okay, I have to read. I have to do some studying. I'm trying to get enrolled back in school, which is great. It's good. But again, it's a big huge issue. You're afraid. You're alone. You're desperate. Like, why are people dropping all dead all around me? What do I do? How do I change this about my life? Like, what do I do? It's insane to be able to figure out like where should my life be. Where am I supposed to be? My friends are dying. I'm alone. I'm isolated. I don't know what to do. I'm fearful. What next move I take? Do I move back home with my family? Or do I continue to stay here in school in a different state? And try to make it and try to survive? What do I do? Okay. So you have to change that like around you and you have to tuck it amongst you put amongst each other. We're losing people day by day. Yes, we are losing people. And that is something to be to be afraid about. At the same time though, we have to address the issue that is this a natural phenomenon or is it something politically motivated involved? So people are dropping dead. Literally, you have to face the issue, address it, and make changes to protect you and your family and your loved ones, as well as to be informed on the next choices and the next moves to make. So, for me, I choose to continually get COVID tested, I choose to get tested as well as vaccinated, and I choose to continue to remain in communication with my family and my loved ones. I choose to also remain also up to date about what's going on in the news, what's going on with the CDC, the, the World Health Organization, what's going on overseas. I choose to remain informed. Okay, that's who I am. That's what I choose to do. That's what I choose to do. Because you can't, sometimes you can't let fear take a hold of you. You have to face it and deal with it and then get, move on. Move on. Move on. Okay? People are going to die. It's a natural evolution. But you have to make the decision in your life. Is this political or what do I do in order to make an impact in my life? As well as to protect, to protect, to protect my family and my loved ones from what's next to come. 
how do you protect your family and your loved ones? Sometimes you can't. Sometimes a lot happens at that same particular moment in time, and you really don't know what to do about it until at the very end you hear about them dying. It's sad. You got this a sad fact to face. It's a sad fact to face. Someone died of cancer, but in reality they died of COVID. Okay, so it's a lot. It's a big issue to deal with. You have to face it, deal with it, protect yourselves and your loved ones. Get vaccinated or continue, or if you don't want to get vaccinated, take care of your own health and your own well-being. Continue to get checked by your doctor, read up on information and facts by the medical community, um, uh, have a healthy diet, exercise, drink plenty of water, have remain informed about your community, talk to your friends, talk to your loved ones, have a good attitude, have a good behavior, make sure your social life is good, make sure you're in a good environment, you're getting in a safe and good environment, as well as just continue to take care of yourself and your own body and your family and your children as well. That's what works. All right, so this is the Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. Moving on to the next topic, okay? You have, sometimes you can't be afraid and you have to address the issue right on. Okay? All right? So if you have any questions, comments, or would like to leave me issues, please email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com. That's B-A-T-T-L-E, the number one, S-T, at A-I-D, at icloud.com. This is Laqueen Battle, Battle First Aid Responder Services. I love you guys.